Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Trudy and I have a very special treat for you today. I am in the northernmost town in the world in um, Hammersfest, Norway. <laughs> and the reason I'm here is I, I catch my cruise ship that I work on as a spa acupuncturist tomorrow. And so I've been traveling for two days, so if I look a little tired, not to be surprised, but it's been an amazing journey getting here. Actually, beautiful flights. I, if you have a chance to fly over Norway in the summer, highly recommend it. So I literally just got here and I only have a half a day, but it is late almost 24 hours so i'm gonna show you as much as i can if you have a day in hammers fest and what to do and um so i'm right on the boardwalk here on the harbor and there's a really nice walk along there i'll take you there and also just to let you know too right here is um smart hotel now that's where i'm staying um and i'm just loving it it is um yeah it is uh, just a little over $100 a night, you know, right on the harbor. Uh, a really smart, small, clean, simple room, which is exactly how I love to roll. So uh, anyway, so I recommend that. And uh, so I'll take you along the waterfront here, and then there is um, a small mountain that has a great view. So the goal is to get up there and get a view of this harbor on this beautiful sunny day in Hammersfest, Norway front boardwalk and I don't know if you can see that plane in the background but that looks exactly like what I flew in in fact that is the second flight for the day um, I don't know if you can see it right in front of me landing at the airport there but yeah a little uh, propeller plane sorry right into the Sun here but we're headed for along the boardwalk and to the top of the mountain to see the panoramic view of this beautiful town all right, so here's a the main one of the main squares. There's a food truck and nice little memorial of the. I know that the, um, someone said you I read you can't you don't actually see polar bears here, and um, they do actually have a polar bear museum, but I won't. It's not open today. So yeah, this is cool, and I'll show you where I'm going to go for dinner. So what I'll be doing is taking these stairs up to the right. And this guy's gonna say hi, hello. hello. You, want, you? you wanna be on YouTube? You are YouTuber. <laughs> hi, I'm what's your, from what's, Syria. Are you from here? No, I'm from Syria. Ah, are you just visiting? Yes, I am live here. You live here now? Yeah, five years ago. Oh, good. This is my wife. This is my children here. This is Riman. She's a super star. She's playing ah. with movies, film. Hi! Oh, they're so friendly! Yeah. Nice to meet you all. So you live nice here, huh? You. Yes, I live here. You're having a nice ago. day today, yeah? Thank you. Yes! You all right! Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 <laughs> um, oh, that's cool. People from Syria here. So these stairs here are the ones I'm going to be taking up to the top of the mountain. And then we've got a neat sculpture there or whatever you want to call it and oh, I love how everyone's so I guess it's been just started to get nice the last week it's been a lot of rain another food truck but this is where I'm gonna go eat dinner it's called the QA restaurant the the lady at my motel recommended she said it's amazing variety it's good and more reasonably priced than a lot of other places. And looks like there's outdoor seating. I kind of feel embarrassed having a GoPro here in this small town, but want to share it. It's so sweet. Love it. All right, now let's go to the top of that mountain. Okay, so I just talked with the sweetest kid. He came up to me on his bike. I can't believe how friendly they all are. He said he was from Morocco and that his family came here for work and his dad was a taxi driver. <laughs> so interesting. They definitely got some, oh, that's cool. Diversity here. All right, so I'm just seeing something here. This is a 
all news for me. Oh, it's new. okay, so they say it's the, uh, I'll take it on the other side. So we have here the music pavilion. And this was a gift as a mark to the 200th anniversary. So the town originated 1789 and they gifted it in eight, eight, 1989 and it has also the latitude and longitude there. All right, so we're getting ready to start the zigzag path. And um, here we go. And also I found an explanation here. I will post the uh, photo of the description of this gamel vian. It sounds like they put together different trails that go to certain landmarks in the town. Um, Gamel's vian means the old road. Here we go. This will be good for me. I'm a little bit repressed from two days of flying. Yeah, just to kind of let you know what it took to get here is um, I flew in from Seattle and I flew to Newark and then Oslo and then Tromso and uh, took a small plane from Tromso to Wittero, for, on, called Wittero, to Hammers Fest. All right, I made it to the top of Mount Solon. The view is amazing. All right, I'll turn it around here. So I came up the zigzag path, just a 10 to 15 minute. It's pretty steep, but not too bad. But look at that. What a beautiful little town. And that is a sound out there. I'll write the, in the caption what the name of it is. But, oh, there's my hotel, smart hotel in the green. And I know the cruise ship is going to come in the harbor here. And we'll see tomorrow where exactly it's going to end up. But what a great stop. Going up here further, you see these fences. I'm sure those are probably for avalanche control. Oh, I think this is a restaurant up here too. We'll go check it out. Look at that. Yeah, and just reading a sign here, it does say that a little less than 10,000 people and that it did burn down to the ground in World War II. It was completely rebuilt after that. And, um, you know, at this point, it's, its industry is um, trade with fishing, tourism, and petroleum as the most important. All right, so let's go over here. I know there's a restaurant up here, but it is Sunday, so I think it's closed. But let's go see. Alright, so we do have this restaurant here with the, it's, you see a lot of this in Norway with the grass roofs and um, it's called Teresa and it's Sunday today so it's closed but evidently you come up here for um, a meal or even just coffee or tea and have, it looks like outdoor seating with a fantastic view. I had no time to look up what this is. I'll look it up later and just describe it, but some type of a grass building here. There's the title of it. Nick, oh, Camden. That's cool. <laughs> and there's a little, another little one over here, a couple of them. sun here.
Mm-hmm. Get out of the sun. Okay, good news. I talked to um, a, a local here, and I've got everyone knows English. It's so nice. I feel so bad because I, all I know is English. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm, I'm on the right track. I'm going to go to this old road, and it's about a loop that'll take about an hour to walk and bring me back down to town. So I'm super excited. So um, let's let's go do the old road. So I've come down this road to here. I'm at a crossroads. There's all the signs. And that's Six Sack VN. That was a zigzag road. And I'm going to be going to the Gommel VN. I'm a little nervous. But uh, after talking to the local, she said it's really nice and very safe. So let's go check it out. All right, we're on the home stretch of this Gammel VN path. And I must say, since I've technically been on it, I've only seen one person, a mountain biker, pass me. That's it. So, definitely a very, shall I, shall I say, serene, kind of quiet walk. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to loop around and go back to the town center. And just to kind of give you an idea, there's the town behind me. this map here of what we did. So we came up the zigzag road and then we looped around <clears throat> and walked to here. So now we're going back into town. So that was the old road trail. All right, I wanted to stop at this, this church that got my attention. It says 1961. Oh my gosh, it's almost six o'clock. Okay folks, look what I found. Oh my God, those birds. Anyway, I found some trolls. <laughs> Honoring the diversity here. So, they're all playing there. So I'm gonna go have dinner at Kiwa. And um, I just talked to a couple of the local teenage girls here. They were so friendly. And I have to say overall, I've just had people come up to me and start talking. Obviously, I'm not from here. But anyway, they, they highly suggested this restaurant as well, Kiwa. Um, and that is what the, um, the lady that worked at the motel also suggested. So anyway, so we are going to go in there. And evidently, Kiwa is translated to mean cow. So it's not Q-A. I am so ready for this meal at Kiwa. And um, I'm the only one eating outside. I suppose for the locals it's not a big deal. But I'm perfectly happy for a burger and fries in a Carlsberg right now, so. How about that? Cheers to Hammersfest. A big cheers. I'm so loving this town here. Mm. Well, that concludes my day in Hammersfest today, and um, it has been. It has far exceeded my expectations. I love days like this. And obviously I learned along the way and shared it with you. So there's a lot of it was, was spontaneous and very authentic. Um, and so tomorrow I will share um, the outside of getting on the ship. I'm not gonna be videoing once we get inside, but I can at least show you where the port is and the ship from the outside and what it's like to transition from being a, shall I say, civilian to a crew member on a ship. Okay, till tomorrow. There's my cruise ship. <laughs>